Hi guys, uh, ito na naman ako si Benji and uh, matagal-tagal tayo hindi na pag action videos of any current events uh, Sensya na, naging nagkaroon ako ng sakit Then, mostly mga one week wala akong reaction video Right now, may konti pa akong upo <coughs> But, pa umahin So, we'll do a reaction on a certain uh, a certain event, which is yung kay Arnie Tevez na nakita ko lang doon sa Manila Times. So, um, marami nangyari doon sa Digamo case. So, yung Digamo case, na, alam naman natin na namatay ni Sin Governor Digamo ngayon ay nilipin na siya. So, So, hinahanap yung mastermind. So, one of the nasasangkot yung Teve, si Arnold Teves, which is yung katunggalin niya sa politika dun sa Nevis Occidental. So, ito yung article ng uh, Manila Times na hindi pa uuwi si Teves. Since alam natin na siya ay isang congressman o meron siyang tinatawag na rights na hindi siya makakasuhan, at meron rin siyang um, uh, nag, ano siya, nag-leave sa Congress. Ito yung napapawalang visa na ngayon ni Romualdez. Kasi nga, kailangan niyang umuwi at mag-function na sa Congressman dito. Hindi siya asylum na tiyatawag na pwede siya mag-asylum sa ibang bansa para mag-political asylum. <laughs> Hindi po yun. Kasi nga, meron siyang case So, ito yung article, guys. Time is not showing up anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, so, ito yung article niya. Hindi pa magpapakita si Temes. Ewan ko bakit. Um, marami na siyang kaso, pati yung anak niya nakasuhan na. Ang hirap sa Pilipinas, guys, no? Reaction ko lang. Kung... Kung ano ka, matas, matas na posisyon, nasa politika, hirap, hirap, ano, um, mahirap, ano siya, um, makasuhan. Kasi nga may power siya, may authority siya, may influence siya sa political crime. Siyempre may batas pa rin sila na meron silang, ano, um, yung tao dito na hindi basta ba sila makakasunta kasi nga mababatas sila. So, may tatang na political immunity but it depends naman sa anong ano ka, kung senador ba or congressman ka. So, ngayon, marami ng case si si Tevez regarding dito sa sa ano, sa Uh, sa, dito sa Digamo case kasi siya yung one of the primary suspect at uh, recently uh, pumunta nag, ano na sila nag search warrant sa mga bahay ni Tevez ng San Diego sa Central para may siyang firearms so ano un unusual kasi uh, unusual pa rin na laging usual naman sa mga politiko mga politiko na meron silang ano eh, uh, private army, parang silang barel. Actually, yung nakikita ko, saan ka, bodyguard nila. But, ano eh, ano sila, may private army, ganun matalagi yung mga traditional politician dito sa Pilipinas eh. I'm sorry to say, kasi, yun na yun yung nakikita ko sa atin na uh, mostly ganun ang mga politician natin sa Pilipinas na lagi na lang, yun ang ano, So, ito nga. Lawmakers takes two months leave. Ba? Two months leave? Okay, ah. So, Negros Oriental Rep. Arnold Tibbs filed for two months leave absent for security reason. Ba? Importante ba siya? Talo pa niya ang presidente mag two months leave siya. Amit calls for house services for him to come home and face the charge of fire against him in the connection with the killing of Governor Real Dugamo. Nakakaloko ah, naman to Two months leave? Pucha, swerte siya. Kaya nga public, ano ka eh, congressman ka, dapat andun ka sa, ano mo, sa, sa place mo, doon sa distrito mo para tumungat, kumuha ng patas. Ang problema, 
maglilib siya dahil kasi nga sa security reason. At sa mga pagtaka, nasa US siya, tapos tinira si Digamon. There's a big question for me. Parang sinet up na, oh, wala ako dyan, baka ganun. Ewan ko lang, ha? This is my theory, ha? But, syempre, may right to to defend himself. Kaya nga si Topaz yung kanyang attorney. In a letter addressed by the House Speaker, Ferdinand Martinez, Tevez vowed to the once a threat to himself. His family has been dealt with. Anong threat? Anong threat niya? Siya ang takot. Eh, ang namatayin si Digamo. Baka robes, baka ang mga Digamo sa kanya. I don't think so. Um... Talagang nagtatagot o nagrarason. Sa akin, nagrarason na lang siya eh. Nagrarason na lang siya na hindi ako pupunta dyan. Ayaw ko harapin yung mga case ko. Diba? The other signed representative of 37 Negros Oriental humbly plea request that he be granted two months leave of as a due to very grave security threat to his life and is trying to be recalled from March 9, 2020. Tevez said in, in this letter. Ano mo guys, kung gusto mo talang ano, uh, kaya na pumunta ka dyan Tevez, harapin mo. Harapin yung mga uh, inaasikasas. Yung nasik, yung biniblame sa'yo. Kasi, nangarami ka ng acts na matapang ka eh. Matapang ka. Ang daming kinahaway. Yung malabang ka sa mga uh, sa mga kapopolitiko. So, bakit hindi mo harapin yung mga ah, uh, inaasika, ah, uh, ina, inaaska, ah, uh, yung mga cases nagbibid up sa'yo. Dahil takot ka? I don't think so na dapat na parapin mo. Diba? Diba matapang? Matapang siya eh. Diba? Ina, nalaman niya si Tulpo, nagsalay tayo siya kay, ano, maglilis yung, ano, ah, uh, sinabi nga ni Harry Roque na matapang daw si Tevez. So, rest assured that he will come back soon. And the threat will be dealt with according under our law and with the aid of the government, he added. But once he is early urged them to return in the period and face the music. Okay, uh, the House of Ethics Privilege of Committee chaired by the COP Narco Party is by Ref Fell. It was as far as Wednesday to discuss Tev's absent tolerance. Travel authority expired in March 9. So, expired na pala yung kanyang travel authority. Kaso, hindi, hindi ko alam kung makapul yung two months niyang uh, school, uh, parang leave. I don't think so. Tevez went to the U.S. reporting for medical procedure. And Spar said Tevez will be given five days to explain why he refused to come home. Bibigyan pa ng five days. Sobra na nga ng five days eh. Di ba? Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Rimula, I was born in Rimula, said this Wednesday Tevez has left the United States and now somewhere in Southeast Asia. That's the information I received. That's a brief I received yesterday. I remember saying in the video interview. Ba? May tagong nga talaga siya. He should come home. It was important for him to return face the charges. He aided. Ayun niya. Kaya harapin niya yung ano talaga yung mga charges sa kanya. Terrence was in, was in U.S. when the government was saying we heavily armed men inside the compound of his residence. Nga nga. And he denied any involvement in the killing. Texas League Council said that the Norwegian is eager to come home, but he feared for his family's safety. Really? Why are you afraid? You can't even protect the government of our government. The security details of the government. Rima out sure the evidence that the Philippine National Police and National Bureau of Investigation Fires will provide protection for him and his family. All has to do is to request for security, which is kinawana niya. The Justice Chief said nothing while he personally knows Tevez. He has no direct contract with the lawmaker to they have a lot of mutual friends. The Supreme has already granted the request to trust all the cases that will be found connection to the King of Digamo on the radio trial court of Manila. Hindi na siya sa negro sa presidentan. Ang gagamitin yung case sa Manila na. Mautak din si ano, si Boeing Ramulia kasi nilipat niya yung case sa Metro Manila para mapabilis. Diba? 
Ewan ko sa Pilipinas ha. Ang problema ng nasin sa atin kasi kung nasa sensationalization na ng media, doon sila gumagalaw. Sorry to say guys, ganun talaga sa Pilipinas. Kung nasa sensationalization ng ano, ng media, doon gumagalaw yung mga courts. Kung hindi ito sensationalization, mabagal ito. Kung hindi, ano, uh, sumabog sa internet, sumabog sa media, eh, hindi ito gagalaw itong case ito. Sorry to say, kasi ganun talaga. Sino yung may pera, Kaya sa atin eh, sorry ah, sino may pera, yun talaga yung mabilis yung kids or yung kilala. Yun yung sa akin. We were made a request to hold the trial in Manila, citing impossible intimidation, harassment, exposed, responded, private complaint, we as well as the volatile situation negotiate or it's an average gamas murder. Actually, nagpadala nga ng... ng... karagtagang sandali sa Negros of Indonesia but they never declared martial law kung si Duterte to sigurado martial law kung nangyari sa kanyang sa kanyang term information on three counts of murder for stated murder has only been filed before the trial court Tanjay City Negros of again suspect Joven Javier Benji Rodriguez Jory Glamador Osmond Rivero and 12 hours and John Dos. Marami na palang case siya eh, mga case murder. An arrest of administration for three counts of violation laws on illegal possession of firearm, which is, kita niya sa bahay niya, ammunition explosives against three of the respondents was found before the RTC by our city. Nakapagtaka, congressman siya ng Negros and Occidental, meron siyang pampasabog, meron siyang lots of firearms, Um, for what, guys? Ba sabi niya protection security. For what? Ako, magas, mag, ano siya, magas, mag, ano, mag, mag-maintain ng baril. Magas, mag-maintain ng baril. Every year, kaya bayaran yung permission to carry firearms. Diba? Tapos every year, kaya lang mag-shooting, kaya lang mag-psychological test. So, marami siyang baril. Sabi na, hobby ba niya? Hindi, hindi. Wala ka pagtaka. Diba? Um, so, baril nga, mahal na eh. Mag-maintain, honesty. Ganun yun. But, congressman siya, he have the power, the influence. So, sige ko, talaga may private army to. The four suspects were believed to be among the group of 10 heavy armed men in March 18 to compound the Gamba residents in Barangay Isidro, Pampara Negros, and Fintan in March 4, killing the covering some of these constituents. <laughs> Ito yung napalan natin sa, napalan natin sa video, kasi hindi ako nakapag-react na hindi may sakit ako guys. So, panahitin daw yung iba dito, the four members of the new people's army were attacking the killing of the Gamba. Which is true. Special Joint Task Force of Negros Major Senon Pancito third said the suspects Amil Labria, Sichong Awang, Barangay Atobes, Town of Bindoy. Negros Occidental was suspect killed during the hot pursuit conducted by the Joint Team of PNP and Philippine Army in just hours of the Gamos murder. Yeah. Oh. Actually, uh, may na mga nahuli na kasi dito eh. Uh, hindi pa lang nahuli yung mastermind talaga. Yung pinaka-mastermind. Kasi marami na rin kasi ano. Involved talaga si Teves dito. Alam ko kasi may history nitong diga mo Teves eh. Sa uh, Negros. So, military has deployed troops for these 21 years. Negros managed to maintain peace in Orient to hunt down suspect in diga mo killing. Totoo, magaling sila. Magaling yung pumatay, yung mga pumatay. Kasi parang ang bilis eh. Wala pang 13 minutes. Binaril agad yung mga, patay agad yung gobernador. Sa alam nila, parang slack yung security at that time. Talagang planado. Talagang alam nila. So, talagang alam nila na papatay, ano, uh, uh, may planet na patayin talaga ito si Digamo. Di natin yung welfare, the power, yun yun. Or political. So, talagang politika. Kasi malapit ang, ano eh, ang, ang next election. 
<laughs> Sorry for that. So we're now constituting panel. Uh, the we are now constituting a panel for to handle the Nexus Assassin case. And the instruction process to make sure the panel is killed at the level of still already to there to evaluate the case and no stones will be left there and there in some way. Okay. Yun yung yung latest, hindi pa tao, hindi pa OEC, FS. Which is, for me guys, ba hindi pa siya uwi? Marami na siyang case, marami ng uh, kaso, ayaw pa rin uwi. Tapos two months, two months leave, wow. May case ka tapos mag-delive ka. Ganun na ba talaga tayo sa Pilipinas? Basta kung, kung may case na ganito, uh, kakasuhan ka, ma-wheelchair ka. Or, kung nakasuhan ka, nakaliba ako, magliliba ako sa ibang manawa. Sad to say, guys. Sad to say. Sad to say. To say. Ga- ganun ba talaga? Dapat, hinuhuli na agad dyan. Kailangan mo punta dito. Eh, yung problema sa atin, na wala yung authority ng police power that is Pilipinas. But, proseso, yun talaga, talaga yung kailangan na ni uh, I don't know if a political immunity siya sa ibang bansa I think not kasi ang congressman lang siya at saka nakalib siya yun ang alam ko uh, at sinabi nga ni Waldes na hindi tapos na yung kanyang leave kailangan bumalik na siya dito yun niya so for me um, kailangan harapin niya Habi niya yung case. Yeah. Habi niya yung mga kaso niya. Eh, sabi yun, takot siya sa, natakot siya sa kanyang security. Maharag, kasi marami rin siyang binanggang mga kalaban niya sa politika. Sige. Diba? Or maraming, maharag ganun. Kaso, bakit siya matatakot? Eh, kasi, naka-security na kay Remulia. Na merong mga PNT. NBI, Army, ando na yung, ano yun, ando na yung lahat eh. So, kailangan talaga, you have to face the music. So, ito lang yung aking uh, updates niya, reaction dito sa ngayon ni Arte Tevez case. So, um, so, we will do a reaction again or any updates on this. So, please like and share and subscribe guys and see you to the next reaction video guys. Bye for now guys. Thank you so much for watching, see you again on my next video.